Uh, hello, uh, my name is Luciano Costa. I'm a professor of medicine at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. And at the 2022 ASH, I had the opportunity to present results from the first phase one clinical study of the BCMA next chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapy called BMS986354 in patients with relapse and refractory multiple myeloma. I am a physician at the University of Alabama at Birmingham, but I present on behalf of my colleagues and, and co-investigators from several other centers around the United States. So as uh, many of our uh, friends from IMF might know, there are now several different uh, BCMA-directed CAR T cell therapy. One of those that was previously studied is called Orvacel, um, and that was shown to be safe and effective on a prior trial that has been presented and published. Uh, BMS-96354 uses the same construct in Orvacel, but now uses a different manufacturing process that's called NEXT. This uh, process uh, is intended to uh, have a faster manufacturing and improve the, pot the potency and the phenotypic attributes or the characteristics of those uh, CAR T cells uh, in hopes of developing cells that can grow faster and lead to deeper and longer lasting responses. So just to, to, to show uh, the differences bit, uh, with those, uh, this new manufacturing process. So it has a faster uh, manufacturing. So you yield cells that are less mature. They're more naive in central memory the T cells as opposed to, uh, in comparison with Orva cell. So in preclinical animal models, when you use the same number of cells uh, with uh, BMS-986354 and Orva cell, you have a much faster expansion leading to better tumor control with 96354. So uh, in this trial, uh, we had uh, the, the cells were manufacturing using the NXT process with reduced cell expansion time, has a different activating reagent that allows for more efficient transduction of the CAR gene into the cells and has a proprietary harvesting technology that allows you to uh, get more cells with fewer impurities. As far as the clinical flow itself is not very different from other CAR-T platforms. So the patients to be eligible for this trial, they had to have had at least three prior lines of therapy that include at least one proteasome inhibitor, one immunomodulatory agent, and one C38 monoclonal antibody. Uh, and they had to have had a transplant or have been found not to be eligible for a transplant. The patients had to have good performance status and not have any significant heart, liver, kidney, um, or, or pulmonary dysfunction. The process, I started with uh, collection of those cells through uh, apheresis. Uh, once those cells are manufactured, patients receive lymphodepletion chemotherapy uh, with fludarabine and cyclophosphamide, which is aim not at tumor control itself, but at prepare the immune system of the patient to sort of welcome and allow expansion of those CAR T cells. Then two to seven days later, the patients receive a single infusion of the uh, 96354. Uh, and then we follow patients for up to 24 months for the safety and efficacy of this uh, CAR T drug product. Uh, we we uh, we use three uh, two parts part A and part B. Part A was to find the optimal dose, and we tested two, uh, three doses: 20 million, 40 million, and 80 million cells. Please note that this is about uh, one tenth of a regular dose that is uh, employed with other uh, more established CAR T platforms. 
Uh, all three doses were found to be safe. And on part B, we expanded dose level two by treating 23 additional patients. So those are the characteristics for the 65 treated patients. Uh, median age was 63. A lot of patients with high risk disease as demonstrated by near 40% of the patients having extramedullar disease or, or pockets of myeloma that's outside the bone marrow. Um, we had uh, near a third of the patients with a heavy marrow infiltration, more than 50% of the bone marrow occupied by myeloma, near 40% of the patients with high-risk chromosome abnormalities. Uh, the median uh, number of prior ther therapies was five, ranging from three to 13. All patients had been exposed to all the three main class of agents, and 91% of the patients had triple class refractory myeloma, including near 50% of the patients with pentadrug refractory myeloma. The first important observation about this, uh, this therapy is its safety. Uh, even though all patients had some adverse events, as it's not uncommon for those therapies, uh, they were grade three and grade four in 83% of the patients, but most of it was transient neutropenia, anemia, or thrombocytopenia that tends to resolve over time with proper supportive care. We know that the toxicity, the side effects that get our attention when it comes to CAR T cell are CRS or cytokine release syndrome and ICANS, or immune effector cell therapy associated neurotoxicity. CRS was present in most patients, about 80%, but in only one patient was a grade three or higher, and that resolved with treatment. Neurotoxicity was not very common, was seen 9.2% of the patients, and in only one patient was grade three or higher. The time of onset for cytokine release syndrome was four days throughout the three cohorts. And neurotoxicity, although uncommon, when it happened, it happened between five and eight days after administration of the uh, product. The median duration of CRS was between two and four days across the cohorts. As expected, most patients received some therapy for CRS and neurotoxicity, uh, being tocilizumab the most used in over uh, two thirds of the patients. And here about near half the patients receiving also steroids. In terms of response, overall response rate was 95%. Uh, in some cohorts it was 100%. You see differences in depth of response. Uh, and that reflects more the duration of follow-up of the cohorts than any relative efficacy of one cohort versus the other. For example, uh, those level two, there was the uh, those level that was expanded, had fewer patients with deeper response, but it's also the cohort with the shortest follow-up. Among 38 patients who were evaluated by MRD at three months, uh, MRD was negative in 25 of those at the level of 10 to minus five. This is the swimmer's plot showing the trajectory of each one of those patients. We don't have yet a median progression-free survival because the study is not yet mature for that. Median follow-up is only nine months. However, a six month of follow-up, 75% of the patients uh, had ongoing response. And overall 38 of the 61 patients treated under the protocol have ongoing response. Now we try to uh, understand if in, um, in, in when actual patients are treated, if we see the characteristics of the cells, then we expect based on preclinical data. And that is indeed the case when we compare uh, data from this program with Orva cell. We have more naive and central memory T cells. And on a cell by cell basis, the cells from 986354 are capable 
of much greater secretion of cytokines or much greater activation than the cells on uh, Orvis cell. As we know, to have a deep and durable response to CAR T is important to have a great expansion of the cells and sustain levels of the cells. And that was demonstrated across all three dose levels. Despite the fact that we infuse about one tenth of the number of cells infused in the Orva cell program, we have very similar pharmacokinetics with similar maximum concentration of cells and area under the curve all of uh, uh, cell numbers uh, times uh, duration um, of presence of those cells. In summary, we found that the BMS-96354 is an investigational uh, BCMA target CAR T cell product you develop you using the next T process that is designed to shorten manufacturing time and improve the uh, characteristics uh, of, this, uh, of the cells in, in order to hopefully provide deeper and longer lasting responses. This platform was shown to be uh, very feasible and also safe with exquisitely low rates of serious CRS and neurotoxicity. When we compare 986354 with Orvacel, for example, we have a less differentiated drug product that leads to a higher, prolifer higher proliferation, higher cytokine production, uh, and uh, uh, characteristics of the cells that are more compatible with memory T cells, which we hope we're gonna yield to deeper and longer lasting response. Finally, what we learned from this uh, study will help us uh, further developing uh, future CAR T cell treatments for patients with multiple myeloma. And I'd like to uh, complete by acknowledging uh, first and foremost, the patients and their families on all the participating sites. Uh, remind us that this was a study supported by BMS and acknowledge the editorial assistance uh, from Spark Medica. Thank you so much.